you do one Google search of the Citizens Commission on Human Rights, and the first thing you find is they're founded by the Church of Scientology. So, and that's who's here today. That's who's here today. Uh, and they've made this environment very hostile for anybody who wants to speak out against them. Uh, I'm not here to ask them to disappear forever or to discriminate against them. I'm here to exercise my right to denounce what they're saying. And I think they should be held accountable for the very d divisive and, frankly, scientifically incorrect language that they bring into our university. There's an exhibit behind us that is called Behind Eugenics and the Holocaust. Yeah. What does that say? The general gist I'm getting is that this exhibit is trying to establish a relationship between psychiatry and the Holocaust. <laughs> it's not something that's taught in any school in any educational institution, anywhere. It is scientifically incorrect. It uses gore imagery of the dead corpses of victims of the Holocaust to promote their political agenda. Two days after International Holocaust Remembrance Day, we should be remembering what happened to the Jewish people of Europe and across the world and the discrimination they face today. And we should not be allowing this kind of gore Meaningful, like exploitation of their of their story to promote a conspiracy theory. Are you surprised that the university has allowed them to rent out a substantial space here at the university center to promote their agenda? I'm extremely ashamed to be a student at the University of Ottawa today. The Church of Scientology established the Citizens Commission on Human Rights with Dr. Thomas Zaz, who's a professor emeritus at Syracuse University in upstate New York in 1969. The exhibit is meant to provide an opportunity for people to get another version because psychiatry has, in, in Ontario, I don't know how much they spend on advertising, but there's billions of dollars spent on mental health promotion and, pharma, and the promotion of pharmaceuticals to medical journals and things like that. And the, the main issue that we're looking at is, is that people need to have information. Basically, uh, I'm not saying that, but the author of the, of the 1994 DSM, which is the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Psychiatry, Dr. Alan Francis, has turned on them and basically stated that there are no definitive laboratory tests for any so-called mental disorder. Also, so-called mental disorders are concocted, named, labeled, described, and categorized by a committee of psychiatrists. Dr. Francis talked to Wired's Greenberg and said the following, there is no definition of a mental disorder. It's bull. It, I mean, you just can't define it. This display further stigmatizes mental illness. For someone to walk by this who may be um, more at risk for propaganda like this, to see something, to see messages as ostracizing and stigmatizing as this, it could put someone on the fence between staying on their meds and going off their meds and t staying with their therapist and leaving their, ther leaving their therapy sessions and not talking about it with friends and family and not getting the help that they need. Psychiatry is not a perfect profession. There are no perfect professions. Mistakes are made, but this kind of rhetoric is completely unacceptable.